Hey everybody, special edition of the Free Map Podcast. Do a little, I guess a little short today. Lately, our normal, you know, our normal podcast, our normal videos, not able to do it. We are on a un, well, a hiatus of sorts. It's work related. I also have either traveled or had work issues myself. <coughs> oh, yeah, and then you start coughing. Jokes about coronavirus aside, I went jogging today. It's a little bit dusty in certain spots. Um, yeah, work, we've not illness, but uh, family issues, things like that. I did want to talk to you about something I wanted to bring up. I had brought up an article. I pulled it up on the old uh, Mojo Wire here. I'm in the blind, so you've got to bear with me when I'm recording. I don't want to show the... I will put a, a link in the description. It was from Fox News. And yes, bear with me. Jessica Simpson, bear with me, says alcohol was silencing her before getting sober. Now... I hate human interest pieces. I hate when the news does them. I think the news ought to do the news. I hate lifestyle articles from news people. I hate opinions. Generally speaking, I really, really, really don't like opinions from news, from news outlets. Yes, it became 24, uh, 24-hour cycle. They want to give people something titillating. They want you to see their news, you know, they have all sorts of people trying to feed you all sorts of stuff they call news. This isn't news, but for once, a human interest interest piece was actually somewhat uh, pertinent for my current, uh, current opinion, little, uh, little tidbit of life here. Um, oh Lord. Goodness, about drinking, and this is the tie-in with alcohol. I have had a friend who has had issues with alcohol. He's been clean for quite a while. And I quit drinking myself. It kind of rubs people the wrong way because they know that I like booze. Yes, I like booze, and I've stopped drinking. I had... I used to have an empty bottle in here that, for some reason, I kept around as a prop. But I secretly wish it was full so I could drink it. I had my issues with drinking. I made excuses to drink, and they weren't healthy. I made excuses to drink because I had slowly become antisocial. I made excuses to try to loosen up reasons to to not be a shut-in and being being a drunk I guess people at one time it was fun and people thought you were fun now the reality is you're just hiding and acting like a jackass instead of being the real you now I will say this much the whole getting drunk to be fun thing it's bullshit just like if you're not able to loosen up when it comes to sex or trying to get laid or, you know, hell, even going home with somebody. Alcohol is not the solution. You are the solution. The solution is inside of you. reason why I mentioned about Jessica Simpson, she said alcohol was silencing her. It says silenced her before she, before getting sober, before she got sober. And the thing is, it said that she no longer wants a drink, calling it a big blessing. Yes, I had my own thing. People used to tell me I was actually really, really quiet when I drank. And then every once in a while, I'd say something really good. Dirty secret. There's a good chance if you're drinking and carrying on, ask somebody sober and you all sound like a bunch of assholes. Yes. The thing about being silent, yes, 
it was slowly silencing me. I sat around the house and was drinking. I'd have, I'd have, uh, well, I'd have uh, family members that kind of knew something was going on. I, am I alcoholic? No. I don't go to meetings. I just thought it was a problem. No judge made me do it. No one put a gun to my head. Now, going back to the article, of course, she had some memoir, which I don't even need to talk about, but since she battled an addiction with alcohol, she gave it up three years ago. And of course, she talked about how it affected her day-to-day life. And I guess that she mentioned about kids getting older and I guess people... People seeing her and just looking at a point where she hit 40 years old, yes, we're getting that old. I'm not making fun of her. She's 40. Okay. And one time she was a spring chicken. I'm not either, but at the same time, I've got jokes. I've got jokes about her. We'll get on to the jokes eventually. All right. It said that she thought it it was making her brave. Thought it was making me confident. It was actually the complete opposite. It was silencing her. And she talked about getting therapy, which is good, by the way, on her path to sobriety. And she's learned that her awareness of her problem was beneficial to getting clean for her kids. Here's the thing. About family, yeah. Clean yourself up, yeah. You don't want to be the asshole. And people, other people see that and they probably think, it, like kids will think it's a good example. I got other family members, I don't want them to see me like that thinking it's normal. You're a jackass. I know people don't want to hear it. I'm like the anti-therapist, but there's a point where you are the problem and your damn drinking is the problem. And you're the asshole that needs to stop. Now, um, it said that uh, when the coronavirus hit, she started receiving questions from friends about being home 24-7, you know, the pandemic. Uh, worried it would result in a kind of relapse. Mentioned about, uh, you know, uh, don't you want to drink? Oh my God, your kids are driving you crazy. You know, I mentioned about family. Of course, um, you know, I mentioned, she says, oh, I'm like, no, I don't want to drink. I have not wanted it. I feel like that's a big blessing. To be honest with you, I feel like getting shit-faced all the time. I'm not Jessica Simpson. Sorry, I'm not 40. I've never birthed children. I've never stolen anybody else's kids and said I birthed them because I don't have a vagina or ovaries. I have testicles and a penis. But it mentioned about wake-up call coming in 2017 on Halloween where she hit rock bottom. It was 7.30 in the morning and I already had a drink. And later that day, they were prepping for a Halloween party and uh, Eric John, I think it was... Eric Johnson, not the musician, former NFL uh, football player, I believe, Eric Johnson, not clips it over Eric Johnson. But later that day, she and and, uh, Mr. Johnson were prepping for a party, and he asked her if she could help get the kids ready. And, of course, I was terrified of letting them see me in the shape. And it says uh, this was... uh, in the book excerpt obtained by People Magazine, which isn't a respectful outfit, but fuck them. I'm ashamed to say that I do not know who got them into their costumes that night. All right. Yes, very short, very, I guess, abrupt article. I don't mind, I don't mind, you know, for once actually bringing that up. I think it's a good thing. I Have I had my moments? Yes. Where I woke up and broke a bunch of glasses and stupid shit like that yeah or piss somebody off made somebody mad don't even know what else i could have done that night and yeah when i was a lot younger you know a decade or so ago oh yeah just i heard rumors people told me that were around me that i'd wreck a restaurant we were in fort lauderdale and yeah i ended up trash in a place yeah it's you you know I'm trying to tell you it was me now fast forward to months ago and I ended up finally giving away that what was left of it but I had booze I drank too much I got sick 
and my family was still awake around me and I had to tell you know the one family member I said yeah I've been drinking I need to chill the fuck out you know I didn't say chill the fuck out I wanted to but I had been feeling sick when I drank allergies I get the Irish clown syndrome Irish clown syndrome for you non um for you non uh, I guess people a little outside of the Irish American community when you drink and your face gets flushed and you have these red little patches and you look like a clown and I had a buddy uh Joey the Mick rock on Joey from Pittsburgh and we talked about the Irish clown syndrome but the whole thing is it would tear my stomach up I get flush my 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 nasal passage and stuff I had once or twice I had enough it was almost like an allergic reaction and start crying I'm a grown ass man I'm not like watching like uh, what do you call it old yeller you know old yeller died or I'm trying to think of another cool uh, cool ass uh, scene from a movie Independence Day when uh, Quaid crashed his uh, you know his fighter jet into the UFO and he was sitting there laughing about it I said that was dope that's that's what you should be crying about instead of allergic reactions to whiskey. Now, the irony about um, the other thing was my stomach. I always had a stomach for booze. I always liked to go get my eat on. I had all sorts of shit, you know, and I didn't care if I was going to puke it up or not. But I haven't been drinking that much. So keeping it on my stomach, it hurts. It feels like crap. And... I'll wake up the next morning, even like two shots of whiskey. My stomach is just raw, like like grumble, grumble. And anyway, the what I was getting at is, yeah, you're you're gonna have these little moments, and there's only a point you can only bullshit your way out of it so much. And yeah, I said try to take better care of myself. Try to get back. You know, I have been in the gym, but you're not gonna do it when you're sitting around drinking. And someone's like, oh, drinking's not that bad for you. Well, if you're trying to focus on what you're eating, your diet is, you know, the old 80-20. I said, it's, it feels like 80. And you know what? Exercise can only do you so much. You, just, you can't outrun your shitty diet. And booze is, it's not great. It's not a dietary standard. It's not like meat and a vegetable and, you know, fuck all, you know. But I'm telling you folks, for once, you know, Jessica Simpson actually inspired something. I literally never liked her music. I don't know how they fuck y'all call that acting. But, and, and I sure as hell, every joke about Tony Romo, I think she earned it. I was like, she was like Medea from like Jason and the Argonauts, you know, just like, you know, pretty, beautiful, uh, even when she was thick, curvy, you know, uh, kind of had the, the bubble, the bubble-esque, uh, blonde thing to her, and it wasn't bad, you know, I don't, I don't hate her, but I'm gonna tell you this much, she earned the jokes, she earned, like, freaking, uh, drain the energy out of Romo, and, and that was the jokes galore, I don't even like football anymore, Hell, I, I didn't know who Eric Johnson was. Eric Johnson's fucking cliffs it over, if you ask me. But God bless her now. And I, I mean that sincerely. Sobriety, I'm glad. In the event that one of her people or friend or anybody who loves her found out about this, God bless you. I'm dead serious. Y'all might hear me cuss and scream and talk about booze and pussy and all this shit. But I'm going to tell you this much. Bless you. And the thing is, making changes going the rest of our lives. And, and really, I'm, I'm, I'm near that too. I'm, I'm near the 40-year the 40 mark. I'm. We can be different people. I didn't fuck my life up that bad. I didn't get caught diddling kids or I didn't kill anybody. I didn't do anything stupid like to that level. Try to keep my nose clean now. And bless Jessica Simpson for doing that. Starting, you know, thinking here and thinking family and the rest of our lives. And I would tell you, learn something from Jessica Simpson. This is the rest of your lives. Y'all y'all don't have to be too super serious, but 
drinking will not bring it on. I've known too many crazy, like, these 40-year-old women and men both, and most of the time it's shift workers and other people I've known, that they live for drinking. They live for not working. They live not to take care of themselves, but to watch themselves go down the shitter. It's the rest of our lives. It's time for you to start, just start cleaning up, live the rest of your life. And if you feel like drinking is a problem, it is. Now, of course, I'm going to end up doing like one of my AA rants. Not now. I'll, I'll put that in some other video. But uh, before we jump out of here, uh, hit the notifications, uh, like, subscribe, the whole nine yards. I don't make money off of this. I don't even ask for, for donations. I would rather you go and go and buy like a coffee, not at Starbucks, but your local, buy like, you know, a pound of a ground shark coffee, put it in the description, why not? Go buy some ground shark coffee and help help those folks out. I love them. Go Black Rifle if, 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 if you're that much of a stooge, but I'll tell you ground sharks the way it is. Uh, I'm going to help out other people that want a free advertising chance, but whatever, screw it. Um, article will be down there too. Please, all right, please take care of yourself. I'm trying with myself. Joe Patrick Flynn's on his end. We're struggling, but it's our struggle. Don't give up. Please take care of yourself, all right? Have a good one.